So just a little bit about baking polymer clay. Probably most of you have done polymer clay for a little while. You already understand the basics of polymer clay baking, but some of you may not, and it never hurts to have a little refresher. So what you want to do is a couple of very simple steps. The act of baking actually cures or hardens or whatever you want to say to the polymer clay to turn it into that final finished durable piece from its mushy bits and it needs a specific amount of temperature for a specific amount of time to be able to do that. Your clay package will tell you how long and how hot. Just put your ear right up to it and listen very carefully and you should be able to hear it whisper very gently to you. Or you could read the side where it's printed on there, either one. But you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven. Generally speaking, people use a designated oven for polymer clay because there is some off-gassing of the chemical components, which can build up inside of your oven and get into all your casseroles and brownies and whatnot. So it's better just to have an oven designated just for polymer. But if you don't have that yet, you can bake in your home oven. I would suggest that you put it inside maybe some turkey pans um, so it kind of traps a lot of that in there or inside one of those turkey roasting bags. Um, but you will have to cook it a little bit longer because the heat has to get into the center of your little protective bubble. So preheat your oven to the proper temperature. Make sure you have an oven thermometer in the oven because oven knobs are big, fat, dirty liars. Why, just the other day, my own oven was set on 200, and do you know what the interior temperature was? 300. That is a huge, dirty, rotten lie. Now, of course, it's an old one, and I've had it outside in the elements for a while, so that probably is my fault. But nonetheless, put your thermometer in, give it at least 15 minutes, not only to preheat the oven properly, but to let the oven thermometer heat up properly as well. It takes a little while for it to be accurate. So. If you just put it in there and go, oh, wow, look at that, it's at temperature. Mm, it may not be. It may still be climbing to wherever it's going to go. So preheat, put your piece in the oven, leave it alone. And when it's done, turn off the oven, let it cool down. Now, I, of course, would recommend that you sort of peek inside your oven from time to time. And if there's fire shooting out of it, something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. But that hardly ever happens. But do check your oven thermometer temperature through the glass to see that everything is accurate. And if your oven is one that you've used forever, then you're pretty much trust it. But still doesn't hurt to check every now and again in case somebody bumped it or whatever. So bake it for the amount of time. You can let it cool down in the oven or you can take it out and let it cool outside of the oven. Leave it alone while it's cooling down. The clay will fuse or cure or harden or whatever you want to call it in the heat. But as it cools down, it actually starts getting that that tough and hardened feel that we know and love. And if you start pulling on things when it's in its tender, delicate stage while it's cooling down, you can break stuff. Not always, but sometimes. So leave it alone and then it's good to go. You can bake pieces more than once. If you were to use liquid polymer clay to add fresh polymer clay, then it can go back in the oven and bake again should you need to. All right, that's kind of all you need to know. Polymer clay is very easy. Baking is super simple but it's very crucial that you get the right time and temperature. If it's too hot, it will burn. If it's too cool, it will not fully cure and it will be brittle. So just pay attention and do everything perfectly and you should be fine.